We're live, everybody. <laughs> Casters oh, are ready. God. We definitely weren't talking about anything weird before. No, uh, that would be weird. Live. No, no, of we course not. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> we both have pants on. We're wearing pants today. Come on, that's We're ridiculous. Wearing... Why on. would you even bring that out? Yeah, like, come on. <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody, to NGS Season 11. We're casting some Division A East games between Sky 5 and Dead Game players. Who are you? Who what, what? Who are you? Who who am I? Yeah, who are you? Well, that's just something you have to figure out for yourself. Well, uh, I am Devin, and I am your co-caster, and that is the main caster, uh, Mark or Scoops. Excuse me, Sergeant Scoops. How dare you? S Sorry, you uh, will address me as my rank or not at all. <laughs> Master Sergeant Scoops. <laughs> are you gonna get a promotion anytime soon? Doubtful. Mm, become, become, become Lieutenant Scoops. Lieutenant. It is pronounced lieutenant if you're a Canadian. Yeah. You trying to you trying to start something here, bud? Huh? No. We're, oh, we're well, here. yes, we're trying to start the game here, Devin. <laughs> oh, there we go, Infernal Shrine. <laughs> we're in it, baby. Yeah, I'm feeling sassy tonight. Why? Who did you know. Who did you kill? I had I had a nap and then I woke up and my girlfriend was like, "You have to shovel the driveway," and I was like. Hey, but nap. She's like, you said you shovel the driveway. Welcome okay. to home ownership. Where now you have to shovel the driveway. <laughs> uh, that's my exercise for the week. Was shoveling the driveway. Uh, Deathwing, get Deathwing, him get him out of here. Uh, not usually a common band that we see. No, not a first band. Let me let me let me check my notes on on the on the opposing team here. Let me see if we've got any Deathwing mains up in here. Uh, no, it looks like that's just a, a, a wide-angle ban. Hmm. Interesting. Is it maybe... I don't know the last time we casted a Division A game. Is I know it maybe something with like that? I know in the higher echelons that he has been getting a little bit kind of popular because of all the things that he can do. So what do we got coming up next for the ban? Zul'jin. Zul'jin powerful. We might see a Tychus ban, maybe a Brightwing. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see picks. a... Yeah, it Maybe be surprised. Stukov. We've seen Stukov get banned out a couple times. Stukov! Some percentage mm -hmm. stands again. Yeah, I think maybe we might see a Tychus. On the other side, I would say. Ah! It's Chromie. Yeah. How do we not call that? Everybody bans Chromie. Everybody bans Chromie. You got to get the Chromie out there. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see another percentage damage dealer banned here. What, like a Tychus? Yeah, maybe a Tychus. Like a Leoric? Maybe a Leoric. Leoric would be a pretty good... Uh, Leoric's really good on Infernal Shrines. So. Like a Greymane? Yeah. Like a Cassia? <laughs> I don't... Does Cat? She doesn't. At 16, she can. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's that's most heroes, unless they start with it at level 1, is at 16, they can. At 16, they can. Well, Greymane gets his at 10. So... Well, that's an ult, though. I mean, True. We got Sylvanas coming up. We do have Ooh, Sylvanas. Can, can we see that mind control build, please? I love yeah, seeing it. Yeah, we want to see it. Do hey. it. Oh, Tychus! Oh, I'm picking the damage Tychus. dealers first. That's um, that's risky, I would say. Showing your hand a little bit. A little bit. Because now all you have left is your, your off laner, your tank, and your healer. And those, you know, meh. But unless, it, Stefan, it, unless Stefan, unless, listen, hear me out, just use your ears for a moment. Unless Five it. Assassin. Unless Oops All Assassin. <laughs> I could I could feel it. I I was it was coming into my brain. I knew it was gonna come. <laughs> Jaina, just a pretty solid pick here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool pick. Yeah. Countering that uh Kelthos' circle. A pretty a pretty cool circles. pick. Pretty Pretty chill pick. Yeah. Yeah. TLDP3101 is pretty chill. Uh huh. You know, I didn't really look at his names before we started. Hey, Johanna got banned out. <laughs> uh, don't want those blinds coming out on the Tychus. Yeah, I can see that. Cassia and uh, Johanna getting those blinds going. The, the May is still open, though. May does have a blind. Yeah, maybe yeah, they might pick up me. Or maybe two healers, get a Lily. Yeah. 
Can we get Uther main tank, please? Uther main tank? Uther main tank? Uther main tank? Uther main tank when? Uther main tank? Oh my god, he made it through the draft. He made it through the first phase. I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hmm. You know what we don't want on that team? Hogger. Get him out of here. We, oh, don't twin, we have Twin Blades Varian coming out. Yeah. That the only thing you can pick with Varian, Twin Blades. I can't think of anything else you can pick. No, you can't pick anything else. Does he have any of the talents at that tier? Um, no, I don't think he does. No, I think it's the only one. Anna picking that up, getting picked up. Yeah. Oh, maybe we'll see a damage Anna. <laughs> we're a great influence. <laughs> <laughs> we're so, we're so smart and intelligent, and we make good decisions when we see good heroes. All right. What do we got? Dead game players. Last two picks. Tank. Oh yeah, yeah. you need a tank offline. and a. No, Sylvanas kind of. Excuse me. What? What were you gonna say, Devin? Say that. Just, just finish that thought there. That thought, thought that you just had then. Finish it. Uh, I was gonna say yeah. Sony is a good pick. <laughs> <laughs> DNA Galaxy, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. And then just dead silence. Dead great, silence. great content. We're, we're so, God, we're just great at our jobs, Devin. We're good at. I mean, we don't get paid for it. I mean, you get paid for this. <laughs> I'm just here to talk about Twin Blades Varian and and Damage Anna. Listen, getting paid for this is is a bit of a it's a bit of a stretch. Uh, I mean, in in terms of like a yes or no, yes. <laughs> well, in terms of a I, quantity, no, no, no. no. I, was, I I live in a binary world. Okay, it's yes or no. Okay. All right, I'll give you that one then. Wow, these are some uh, pretty interesting team comps. We don't see an Arthas come out too often. Oh, that's right. Uh, that is a main tank Arthas. Yeah, Varian is an interesting t uh, choice for a tank on the other side. Wait, you will um, main tank Arthas? What? I've... Is main tank Arthas? Yeah, that's what I said. Yo. It's Marthas. <laughs> it's Marth. It's that naive base. Naive now, does, base. Does TLDP stand for too long, didn't pick? I don't know. We're going to have to... If we get them in the post-game interview, we'll have to ask them. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely no coordination between the uh, the icons this game. None. What? Are you what are you talking about? We've got Arthas. Arthas is on the other side. Look at that. That's all Arthas. Oh, it is all Arthas. Yeah, the other I didn't side know Listen, the top one just looks like some guy, okay? That's Arthas. The top one is some guy. Oh, that's Arthas. That's all Arthas. You know what? It's we have we also way. picked Arthas. It's Arthas all the way down. Oops, oh, Arthas. Uh, now, Mark, why don't you introduce us to Sky 5? On the team of Sky 5 in the sky blue, we got Apple Mike on the Tychus. We got AG, Silver AG on the Varian. Alan, by default, on the Anna. Pharaoh on the Kale Thas. And Liddell on the Diva. Uh, and for the side of dead game players, we have Hysteria on the Sylvanas. TLDP. 3101 on the Jaina Bra Brainac. I, I was gonna say Brainiac, and I was like, no, that's Brainac on the Bright Wing. Naive Bays on Arthas and XYZ Territory on the Sonya. Sonya immediately going into the off, off lane. Same with Diva. Actually, Diva's just hanging out. Yeah, and once again, we cannot see any of Diva's talents. Yeah, I was gonna mention that. <laughs> I was gonna be like, hmm. Looks like D.Va doesn't have talents this game. Yeah, D.Va just doesn't get talents this game. Sorry, D.Va. Bad luck for you. And we don't even see it in the top what she picked at level 1. No, she also so... does not have a health bar at the top left of the screen. No. Don't what get... is up with D.Va? I don't know. It gets resolved eventually. Eventually. <laughs> level 10, maybe. Level 10. And Jaina that... immediately going into the bottom lane there, taking yeah. pushing it all the way in. Oh, for sure. Like, she has the wave clear to do that. She can just go down there, huck a blizzard, and just walk away. Oh, is this a four-man rotation? What's going on here? Well, this is a four-man rotation. They're just a little bit ahead of time. Ahead of the schedule. Yeah, they're just going. Oh, yo, is this going right double for it? Double soak and Sonya? Are we going to run it down the bottom? Can we see some yeah, of that? I, I think that was a double soaking Sonya. Mysterious Very going behind. bottom. Hmm. Looks like this uh, middle wave is going to get missed a little bit. Let's so one is going to get there in the time. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Just in time. I was going to say, if they don't get that, they're going to fall a little bit behind in XP. Definitely, they're going to lose two globes of experience. Like, 
That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's at least two globes worth. That's two globes worth. It's almost three globes worth. Yeah. If you think about it, it's more than one. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. Okay, we need to move on. Alright, Sky5 uh, is stealing the bottom camp. Looks like they're going to get away with it as there is no eyes down there from dead game players. Yeah, it looks like the four-man split. Or the format. What's going on here? I'm trying to figure We're out what they're doing, time. but they just keep like it turning into like a blob of four players, and then split one splits off, and then the other one splits up, and they team up, and then they split back to the four man. Well, that's Sony just doing God's work in the top lane. Getting the bruisers out, maybe a little bit early, especially since the uh, objective is bot lane. Mm hmm. And that is quite a walk for the offlaner to get to. Oh, in the mid lane, we got an engage on the bright wing. There's a stun that lands. We got a taunt coming in. There it is. And there's the Tigus damage and a healing grenade. And that is a dead bright wing. Phil, Furl is looking to be next down. There's some pings. Yeah, there trading one Kael for House. one there. And a very low. Oh, it might be trading two for one. Oh, but that sleep. No, the sleep. That sleep. Ooh, the clutch sleep. In the top lane, we got Arthur shooing away. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. One for one trade, and it is technically in the favor of dead game players, players as Brightwing can just warp back in whenever she wants. Mm -hmm. I'm getting real annoyed by that empty slot in the talent screen with D.Va. Yeah, I know what you mean. I just I want to I want to know what she's thinking here. I, I I think I think she has to um detonate her mech for that talent to show up for us. Yeah, and then it's like oh, oh shit. I gotta... Onto Sylvanas, there's a stun, there's the damage, and that is a dead Sylvanas immediately. Great coordination by Sky5. And looks like dead game players will be just withdrawing from this objective. Just doing a little bit of pokey poke here and there within Arthas roots. Probably looking yeah, to get his stacks. Did he go with Christ? Yeah, he's looking to get his Arthas stacks on. Get him! Stacks on, stacks on, stacks. Stacks on, stacks on. Yeah, and I think this objective will be in the hands of Sky5. Yeah, pretty handily. I don't think there's anything dead game players can do here. Yep. Sony's already in the top lane, busting down those money. What was it she can? Yeah, just taking that, uh, taking that uh, opportunity to push as far as she can. Varian's doing a little bit of around the corner scouting, looking for something to get a taunt on. Arthas roots coming out. There's the protector stun. Brightwing Z popping into Arthas. Arthas gets all topped up, nice and healthy. Got to keep that thick boy nice and healthy. You gotta do that. You, listen, you, you gotta make sure your boys are healthy. The bigger they are, the better. Oh, we got a, a little bit of Sky 5 gank rocking. Ooh, oh no, Sylvanas. Sylvanas, no! Oh, there's a ton, no, there's a the damage, there's a stun, and once again... Once again, Sylvanas getting knocked right out there. Dead game players didn't even see it coming. Yeah, you know, Sky 5 doing a really great job here of just pouncing on one player. I didn't see that coming at all. That was that was sneaky. <laughs> they players. steal the siege camp from uh, the side of the dead game players. Mm-hmm. That they do. Oh, stun onto two, getting a taunt onto the Arthas. There's a healing reduction. Oh, oh get he's getting out of jump. there. Oh my God, the grenade just barely doesn't finish him off. Is that? Is there no quarterback? Oh, no quarterback. Uh, no, he put, he picked up a dash. Mm -hmm. I think that if there was quarterback, that might have secured the kill. Yeah, I gotta say that uh, just based on the strategy they've been using so far, just popping out and murdering somebody, that uh, that quarterback might have been able to catch up or pick up a few kills on mm -hmm. uh, people who are escaping there. Sky Five is just dominating the camps on the map right now. For sure, painting the map dead gameplay. Yeah, Dead Game Players only has the uh, their own Bruiser Camp taken. That yeah, hate be, yeah, to see soon. it. That's up in five seconds, so he might be on top of that. Uh, now, Mark, we got level 10s coming out, so what do we have for the sky side of Sky 5? Well, we got uh, good old Tychus picking up Dragon. Hold on, we got an Invade coming on. Oh my Taunt god, on the Jaina, Taunt. there's Healing Grenade. Coordination coming out, going to get the last little bit of damage, finishing off the Jaina. We got oh, spell shield on the bright wing. So that is a safe oh, game for now. Tychus no, is going for it. Double kill up by the KT, the bright wing. Apple Mike will be trading his life for that. Native boys trying to get out with the Arthas, but the taunt comes out, and that is a dead Arthas. And there comes oh. the diva nuke coming out. So now we got talents, now baby. Talent. 
Yeah. Mark, what do we got for level 10? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we saw... Yeah, there's the good old dragon laser. We got Phoenix onto the Kel'thas. We got Varian picking up his shield block. We got Anna going for the nano boost. And good old Diva with the micro missiles. Yeah, and uh, for the side of the dead game players, we got Sylvanas picking up that wailing arrow. Jaina going for the summon water elemental. Uh, Brightwing grabbing Blink here. Oh, no. uh, Arthas going for summon Syndragosa. Oh, no. And Sonya grabbing Leap. Oh, the Brightwing heal comes in just at the last second, just before the living bomb detonates. Sonya lives another day. Okay, we're back. What? 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 What are we back from? I had a little bit of a lag spike, not, nothing to worry about. Oh my god, another gank. Another gank coming in. They're waiting for it. They're waiting for it. Sylvanas! Sylvanas, somebody, no! Somebody needs to check the bush. No, Sylvanas! <laughs> no! Oh my god, the devastation. you think they would have learned by now not to be alone. Yo, you gotta check them bushes. You can't you gotta just check them, them bushes. You need to be, you need to be with allies. Listen, you got Brightwing Qs, you got Arthas Roots, you got Jaina Ice Shots. Ice blocks, ice lances, ice lances bolt? of ice. Frostbolt, Jaina Frostbolt. You, got, you made it there. You made it there. You're I, the hero of this story. I did it in the end. You got Sky Five picking up the other Punisher now. Mm -hmm. Second Punisher for Sky Five. I think dead game players to get back in this game needs to stop face checking bushes. Really, honestly, uh, stop face checking bushes they need to start taking their camps more frequently Ooh, here big root onto the sonia there's a phoenix we've got a taunt coming Ooh, in the there's taunt, more damage the sleep, the healing sleep. reduction leap. sonia has to leap out of there oh but a stun goes out onto arthas from the punisher can we have anything else to follow up Ooh. yes we do we got tychus tychus mm. we've got old taunt onto the jaina trying to get value sonia's trying to spin to win healing with the team there's a stun Ooh, that lands stun. Can she get out of there though? Oh my god. Oh, into Brightman the gets root from the Punisher. Oh, unfortunate. Punisher does go down, but that is at the cost of two of their own lives. Yeah, this is uh, not going well for the side of dead game players. This combo that Sky 5 has is potent. It is. And, uh, yeah, Sky 5 is already, once again, back onto these camps. These are my camps. We are taking these camps. Yeah, and it's given them such a huge advantage on the map that they can be, they can afford to be so aggressive. Mm -hmm. Don't don't do this again, you guys. Guys, please, <laughs> please, I'm begging you. Just just shoot something into the bush for once. You can't, you can't just walk into there. You can't just walk past them anymore. You know they do this now. <laughs> They're doing it again, They're guys. You gotta again. like. Please, somebody frostbolt, throw out wailing banshee, anything, anything. Oh, this diva is not alone. This diva is not alone, you guys. Oh, oh the taunt taunt comes Arthas. out onto the Arthas to sleep, and he is dead. That is a downed Arthas, unfortunate. Oh my god. At, at least the right person was engaged upon you. The tank is not usually the target you want to hit, not like a nice exposed Sylvanas. Don't take that out of yeah. context. I'm definitely gonna take that out of no. contest. Oh no, Sylvanas! Oh, it is again! Oh my, they have so many stuns and sleeps and roots and taunts and oof. Oof. Yeah, very hits just... you with it with the taunt, you're standing still, leaving you open to any sort of a You get sleep skill and shots. then you get stunned and then you get rooted and you're and you're done. You're done. You're stunned, they just... you're done. Dead game players has to be feeling the pain right now. This is a rough one. Oh, here comes a gank on. Oh, and here they come again onto the Sonya. She does have the leap to get out of there, yep. and she does get out of there. Brightwing blink coming in, trying to do a little bit of saving action. Stun hit does hit the Brightwing, but she does walk out of there. But here comes Cinder goes. It looks like dead game players are coming for an engage, and here they come. There's a wailing arrow. There's a silence, and they're withdrawing. Not, they... Yeah, they're not really not really capitalizing on anything there. They are a talent tier behind, but they kind of just. Popped and left. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is reasonable. They are down a talent here, so fighting there might have been at a bit of a disadvantage. 
Mm-hmm. Um, maybe a little bit of a miscommunication that they wanted to go and they said, re then realized, wait, 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 this is a bad idea. Yeah, now we got a, another 60 second cooldown before Sindragosa uh -oh. is up. It's oh not no. going to do any good in the upcoming oh no. team fight. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I see it. Don't do it. Jaina, Jaina, that. that's too far. Jaina's too far. Jaina, no. Jaina. Jaina, run. Wait, wait, no, that's even worse. No. <laughs> no. Oh, dead game players. Oh, no. it's so much worse than it was going to be. They didn't even they didn't even manage to stun her. They just murdered her. That's so oh, sad. Oh guys. Oh guys. Guys, this this is unfortunate. You got, this is this is oh, very no. unfortunate. Oh, oh there's a they lead managed to get it on the Sylvanas. But Sylvanas still goes down. Oh no. And Tyke is just shredding with that percentage damage. Oh no. Oh no indeed. This diva over here just like, yeah, I'll take objective, you guys go murder. Go have fun, you guys. Go oh fun, my. Oh my my. But 16s are rolling in for the side of dead game players, and there is a lot of power coming in from the 16s, from everything, from Jaina's roots uh, to Sylvanas' unstoppable, which will be, oh my god, so useful. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you could just press a button and just like deny like six enemy buttons. I thought you were going to say, can you imagine if you could just press a button and nobody could stop you? <laughs> We all know the one thing that can stop you. <laughs> yeah, the one ability called stop. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that can stop. Oh, incoming Syndra goes up, but the stun goes out. There's a cleanse. Yeah, stun and Arthas is getting absolutely bleep. immediately deleted. Sonya can't even spin to win. Oh my god, this is rough. This is very rough. Oh, and then the Tychus going in for that kill. Oh, jump onto Savannah. Yeah, Savannah's gonna get low. out of there. Savannah's no! Savannah's is down, unfortunate. Yeah, there's the mech getting popped, and I think this is game. I this think this is GG. Yeah. This is where the game gets won. Uh, so, Mark, what do we got for level 20s coming out? <laughs> Alright, so uh, on the side of. Uh, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. That was brutal. That was brutal. I'm trying to think of what bands uh, Sky Five did at the beginning of this. They had um... Chromie was one of them. No, no, Dead Game Players banned Chromie. You're right. You are uh, correct. Sky Sky Five banned Zuljin. Oh my god, I don't know who. Got Crafty Devil saying this game needs an 18 plus warning. I agree. This right. was illegal what we just watched. I'm sorry for having had to set you guys through that. Yeah, let's <laughs> take a look at some of these numbers. Uh, Tychus rocking in the hero damage department. Kael'thas, a close second. So honestly, I said, however, outpacing everybody in terms of just raw hero damage. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, our offlane, our D.Va, is just doing God's work. Look at all that experience and siege damage done. Yeah, we got uh, really nobody on the side of dead game players that's matching that level of XP. Also, yeah, I know. I want you to know. Yeah, I, I want I you got to it. know. No, listen, I got between, it. Between between Monday and today, I have made all the points back that I spent. I I have a loss of zero points. <laughs> You're gonna want to watch the video for that. Yeah, I'm going. To... <laughs> uh... Now what do we got going on in builds wise, Mark? Well, let's take a quick look. See, let's take a let's take let's hop on over that. So we got Tychus rolling in with uh, let's see, Dash, Dash. in the rhythm, Relentless Soldier, Draken Laser, that's the stuff, and Sizzling Attacks. So very clearly going for just gun, yeah, just, just melting. I love into the rhythm or in the rhythm. It's one of my one of my favorite talents uh, for Tychus. Just being able to have like this minigun just going forever. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, looks like Chaos House, we got good old Mana Attic, Netherwinds, Burned Flesh, Pyromaniac, and Furious. I, know, I think that is a, a traditional Chaos build. Especially mm -hmm. if you're locking them down very nice. Varian, for some reason, must have hacked the game. He ended up picking up a talent that. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I've never seen it before. You can take that talent? Hmm. Crazy. Uh, yeah, so overpower, taunt, shield wall, sh <coughs> or second wind, shield wall, mortal strike, and banner of iron forge. I find it 
I'm, uh, Mortal Strike here is interesting because you do already have the Ana, but like the engage lets you hit him with the healing reduction right away, and then once that wears off, Ana can huck the grenade. Uh, Ana's healing reduction is a hundred percent, right? A hundred percent. Yeah, so maybe it just uh, just buys you just enough time in case the Ana's too far away or the grenades on cooldown. Yep, and it, like 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 I said, you you open with the Mortal Strike because that that just comes part and parcel with his basic attacks once that lands. Mm -hmm. And once that's gone, you just let Ana huck a grenade at him. Wow. Hug that grenade. Get in the stick around, otherwise it's not it's not worth it. No. Uh, Anna going for sleep dart, but not at the four. Four we got debilitating dart. Uh, maybe for isolation. Maybe for some counter engage to get the Sony off her back or whatever. Uh, it might also be to stop kind of the the counter when they when they hit somebody, uh, or when they pick somebody to jump on that they can't turn around and try and kill somebody as quickly as they can. <sighs> True enough. And it slows the movement speed, so. Yep. Uh, deep Can't get away. Up full metal, rush down, get on the point. Micro missiles, pew pew pew, and in for the kill. Actually, going back to that talent one more time, that does actually make sense, because when we when we saw them jumping on to somebody, and the Ana would toss out that slow, it didn't really make sense, cause, or the sleep, because the sleep would immediately get cancelled. But in the context of it now slows them for 50% of their uh, movement speed, um, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. All right. So heading over to game number two. So this one, this one was one by <coughs> Sky Five. Game number two, we're going over to. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, hold on. That's not the win. Win goes over there. One. One a dragon turn. We have a very important question in chat. Mm -hmm. What kind of cheese is Sky Five gonna do next? Mm, I, I like blue cheese. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna go with blue. Get some buffalo sauce in there. Get some blue cheese going. Oh, buffalo sauce, blue cheese. That's what you want. Well, it, it's really underappreciated nowadays. Buffalo sauce, blue cheese. Mm, muy bueno. Mm, mm. A little bit of ranch in there. For a little bit of ranch. A mm. little, little bit of ranch. Mm. Oh god, now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. I am a fool. And uh, let's see who picked this first team is team two, so the picker is team one. So once again, the Sky Five going for the map pick. Yeah, it'll be it'll be very interesting to see how uh, dead game players uh, respond to that first game. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna see some targeting bans here. Just like nope, not dealing nope. with that. Wouldn't be surprised to see Varian get out of there or Anna get out of there. Um, I think those are my top two bans for them. Mm -hmm. Um, that, that does leave some of the more meta picks open, though. So that may that leaves Sky mm -hmm. Five with a good, good little bit of an advantage there. Maybe a they will get bit, a crummy. Yeah. It's kind of a no-win situation for dead game players. Either they they're banning out the meta picks, or they're risking having to face that that powerful um, gank build. Indeed. All right, so let's see what these bands are going to be. What, what, what are we going to see here? Let's see. Let's see that Varian get banned. Anna, banned. Varian, banned. One of those two. Calling it. For sure. Let's see. Let us see. Could, actually, could be D.Va for that offlane, because D.Va was, like, dominating the offlane. True, true. D.Va is pretty good. Pretty, pretty meta. And she has a meta pick, so it would be a, a nice... Uh, Double ban there. Mm -hmm. Tychus. Yeah, Tychus is a problem. Tychus is a problem. He is, he, he's, he has very potent damage. Even against like non-high health targets, he just shreds. Yeah, he's got that percentage damage. He's yeah. got that level one percentage damage. Yeah. That is how you do. Which means, te technically speaking, anybody fighting Tychus is on a timer. Because the second he turns on that percentage damage, um, it's only a matter of time before you're dead. Yeah. Exactly. Cassia banned again. That was the other one they banned, right? It must be. It must have been. Yeah, I think it was. And then it was Johanna. I think they banned Johanna. So no blind. They they took out the Zildjian and then they got rid of the two blinds. Nah, that'd be it. <clears throat> All right, what's this next one going to be? Hogger. Getting that early this time. Okay. All right. 
Next band from Sky 5. I, I would imagine this could be a Chromie. I would think. Maybe. It's gotta be, right? It's gotta be. Chromie is too powerful. She's too strong. Very strong. No, it's Uljin. Of course. It's Uljin. Get that bastard out of here. He's a troll. We don't let trolls in our games. Ba -da -ba. <laughs> I was trying to think of a good follow-up. I got nothing. Nah, well. No he's... trolls, no nulls, no, uh, no service. It's, it's, it's A plus, Devin. Thanks. Johanna! <laughs> They're like, no! She banned her last time. We're picking her first. We're taking the Johanna. All right, Sky Five has two picks here to go. And last time they just went all in on the damage. Are we gonna see the same thing this time? No. Nope. Li Ming and Stukov. Ming Stukov. Li Ming always is always a hot pick. A hottest pick. Can we see that glass cannon build coming out here? Yeah, glass cannon full orb. <laughs> let's go. I just want to see that galaxy level orb coming out, popping people off. Listen, it is infuriating to be against a good glass cannon full orb. <laughs> just fucking balancing around the whole map and launching orbs. I mean, yeah, I get it. There's counterplay, but I hate it. I hate it. I hate that this, this slow moving orb can come out of the out of the bushes from nowhere and scare the shit out of me, and it always hits me. <laughs> We don't no matter which the... direction I move, it always seems to like gravitate towards me. We don't have the brain to dodge. We don't have enough brain cells no. for that. No, it's moving so slow you don't think it's a threat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Orphea gets banned out. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, very interesting, actually. Yeah, you think there's a little bit of scouting going on? I think that's a targeted ban. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me check that real quick. Uh... Is it just some A meta that I'm... Still completely uh, unaware of. Uh, I don't see an Orphea anywhere in here. Okay. But we do see Diablo getting banned out, and that, that's a pick I can get down with. I don't like playing against Diablo. I love watching Diablo, though. Yeah, he does. He, like, I think one of the devs at some point said that they modeled like Diablo's move set after like a wrestler. <laughs> we got Tracer coming in, and Blaze. Anyway, uh, maintain place. <laughs> maintain place. Let's go. Uh, let's go. That, that Uther. Is... Maintain Uther. Uther Le... tank and heal. Oh my god! You know Liddell was in the offline last game, so uh, this might actually be a maintain place. Double bruiser. Double bruiser. Let's go. Double bruiser. No tank. Ooh, Urel. Love seeing a Urel come out. XYZ. We got Liddell. Show it. Show us. Show it to us. Show me Show what you got. Me. Show me potato salad. Mm. We, we both. We both are smart. Rexar. So this Rexar. Is All right. Rexar is a bruiser, right? Rexar is a bruiser. He's a bruiser boy. He 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 bruises. He I've seen him. I've up. seen him bruise once or twice in the face. Yeah, I've seen it. Never I, known I, then. I've seen it before. Maybe we're gonna see Rexar pull his hog out this game. Mm, Get that don't... hog going. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm, for sure. Yeah. For sure, dude. What? What's wrong? He's yeah. No. Pull, for sure. He's gonna pull his hog out on. Listen, he has like up to five hogs. Let's be. Let's 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 not beat around the bush here. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's, okay, listen, he's half ogre, half orc, okay? Yep. You don't know how, how that, how that DNA mixes. He could have any number of hogs. Well, he only has as many hogs as the enemy has bods. The, the good old hog to bod ratio, Devin. We've never heard of it. <laughs> oh, my. No, no, I have not. <laughs> yeah, it's usually one to one. Uh, we gotta say goodbye to the cat. I'm watching the stream as the cat disappears. Goodbye, kitten. Goodbye. <laughs> Mark. 
It's my turn to introduce the team first. All right, go for it. All right. Uh, first up, dead game players. We have Hysteria on the Lunara, TLDP three one o one on Raynor, uh, Naive Bays on Johanna, Brainache on Anna, and XYZ Territory on Yarel. On the side of blue for Sky Five, we got Liddell on the Rexer, Allen by default on the Stukov, Feral on the Sonia. AG Silver AG on the Blaze and Apple Mike on the uh uh if get, get out of the dog pile yeah. everybody Tracer we got Apple Mike on the Tracer we didn't really comment but Tracer also here we don't see very often a very annoying hero to play against fairly niche fairly also, I, I do I do want to point out I don't I don't mean to shame anybody but uh, we got we got a Blaze on a default horse here. No shaming. No, 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 no shaming. Horse. You know, he might just like default horse blaze, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the damage onto the Lenara from the Liming orb. That's a lot of damage. That orb. Get orbed. Yorel having a little bit of a time dealing with a man and his bear. Yeah, there is both a man and his bear over there. We'll see if they can pull it off. Ooh, stun interrupting the jump on that. Uh, we got two in the mid lane. Just over an apple mic, just cleaning up the wave before, before rotating, probably to their giants to get those on the road. Yep. Same thing on the side of the game players picking up their own giants. Get them, boys. In the top lane, yeah, Rolla is definitely having a tough time. I think we got some in. Coming in pings and on the way pings. Yeah, here comes a tracer for a little bit of a ganking action. Ooh, we're gonna see something happen here. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, nothing. All right. Oh wait, no. Nothing happening. Nothing happening. All right. Bottom lane's getting cleaned up. Mid lane's getting picked up. Oh, top lane's happening. Something's happening. All right, nothing's happening. Well, no, we're good. I'm. All, I was watching it, just making sure. Could not pick up a kill. I saw movement. I was like, oh, it's happening. Ooh. Yeah, they uh, they tried to jump on her, but were unable to do it. A man and his bear. The man has no bear. The bear's too far away. Oh my god. Too many things are too far away. Oh my god, the sleep interrupts the uh, blaze charge. Oh, Tracer's coming to the bot lane to help with his 4v4. Are we going to see something happen? we got Jimmy going around the long way, so this is technically a 3v4 at this particular point in time, Apple Mike kind of getting kind of low. Jimmy has just arrived to the party. Hey, hey man. Hey, man. James T. Reno are here. Li Ming has rotated to the mid lane to get some of that soak picked up. Sleep Dark just barely misses. We got Anna keeping everyone alive in the bottom lane as we do a little bit of skirmishing here. Alright, let's take a look at the top one, see what, how that's going. Ural is still struggling. I think Rex is going to be able to hold, him, hold on to this point for quite some time. Ah, the good old Stuka of Silence Puddle. I love it. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Oh, in the mid lane, Jimmy and Li Ming duking it out. Jimmy does have a gun, so uh, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, good luck with your magic when he's got a gun. Let's just shoot him <laughs> with a gun. <laughs> Then an orb flies out and kills him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yorel having almost dead to a man and his bear in the top lane. Yeah, somebody needs to come help out this goat lady because this is not going well. No, goat lady cannot deal with this bear. But we do have mid bot lane. Bot both shrines getting held onto by Sky 5. Stuck off silent yeah, just trying to be a bit of a pest. The whole blue team is getting kind of low in hit points. I need to keep it everyone on dead game players alive over here and the bottom friend is captured back for dead game players yeah pretty pretty slow game we're seeing here so far uh not no real clear winner no uh no team kills yet everything pretty even like entirely even i would say mm -hmm. jimmy just about getting ganked in the mid lane but he is able to walk to his fort and to safety yeah. But if this game keeps going the way it is, I think Sky 5 does have the advantage as Euro cannot hold the top lane. 
No, Urel is having a lot of trouble. That stun from the bear, the interrupt there, it's just brutalizing her abilities. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like Sky5 is looking for an engagement. No, they were, we're just capturing the shrine down here. Alright. Okay. Okay. And it is going to go to them. Ooh, and Dead Game Players has nobody in the middle in mid lane to interrupt. Yeah, I think this Tracer's is Tracer. going to get this. Yeah, there's a first Dragonite before the side of Tracer. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is Tracer a dragon? Wait a minute. Nobody told me Tracer was a dragon. Hey, I don't know if this UI, if this if it's the UI doing this, but does does Dragonite have a picture of Tracer on top of it? On like the bottom right side of your screen? Uh like just above his health bar. Like the health no. bar. Cool. This so that's not. that's this cool thing then. Wait a minute, is that Seeker? Alright, we got a Seeker Tracer. Or Seeker Ming. Oh my god, look at all that, you're, listen to all that seeker value, oh my god! What the, I don't know what's happening. Okay, the, the seeker sound, like when, when Tracer lands three things with the magic missiles, it has a very distinct sound. If you listen for it, you'll hear it all the dang time. When Tracer lands the magic missiles? So look at her seven, when that seven procs, there's a very distinct sound that goes off. You keep saying Tracer. You mean Li Ming. I, I do mean Li Ming. Also, oh, Johanna fun. and Jimmy Brutal. keep falling oh, down. Li Ming getting those resets. Yeah. Brainiac getting kind of low. Can we finish him off? No, Brainiac is able to walk away from that fight. I was said Tracer all the time. I did Ming Li. I did Ling Li. Yeah. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I, I do see the Tracer on your screen, by the way. Yeah. The dragon. What is that from? Uh, that's just from my caster overlay. Oh. Isn't that cool? Interesting. It's pretty neat. Um. Uh oh, Lunara. Lunara, Lunara, are you safe or are you dead? No, I think. You're oh, dead. Can you get up? Can you get up? No, Trace is gonna finish the job there. Uh, Mark, what do we got for level tens coming up for the side of Sky Five? Well, Sky Five, we got Tracer picking up the Quantum Spike. We got the Li Ming picking up the Disintegrate. We got Blaze going for that Bunker Drop. Stuka picking up massive shove, and we got the Hogs coming from the boy himself. Rex from the man with bear. Uh, for the side of dead game players, we have Lunara picking up Leaping Strike, as we saw there. Uh, Raynor grabbing that Hyperion. Johanna picking up Blessed Shield. Anna not picked anything yet, and Ural grabbing Ardent Defender. Ardent Defender. It, it is a bit of a odd situation. Okay, we got Eye of Horus coming out. I'm sorry to steal your thunder on that. How dare you? I'm sorry. I'm waiting weeks for this. Weeks. And I just stole it from you. I don't care, I'll do it again. Oh my god, stun, sleep, and silence. No sleep, but silence. And that is a dead Lamara. This bottom lane push is getting, is getting quite a bit of value for Sky 5. They're able to push in with these uh, knights here, able to secure a lot, but the spell shield is gone. Yeah, and dead game players is pushing it back. Mm hmm. And didn't lose anything other than their front fort. Take hold of the shrines. Earn so that. That is a good thing for the side of dead game players. However, I think Yurel is is still trying to get that top lane down. Just yeah, whacking a bear with, with a hammer. Hmm. Well, back in the mid lane. In the oh, mid lane. Like, uh, Sky Five trying to steal this camp here. I think we'll get we'll get away with it too. Silence comes out. We got that big old puddle. Are you you just hate to see it. You sure do. Sky5 will be channeling, getting the bottom point. Is somebody? We do have Jimmy in the mid lane to interrupt that point if anybody decides to try to step on it. And it looks like we got Blaze coming in trying to get a little bit of that dragon action going. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to do it with both the Lunara and the Jimmy here. As well as the rest of the team rolling in. We're looking yeah, for something. Exactly. And Stukov does have the oh so important level 13. Virul virulent reaction. Yeah, Yurel here trying to pick up that top one just can't do it. The bear is too powerful. He's too strong! Ooh, we got our eyes on Jimmy. Can we get him out of there? Yes, we can. A blessed mm. shield comes out for a little bit of disengage. Bunker gets dropped to something. <laughs> But 13, 13s do roll in for dead game players. Johanna getting a little bit of tackle. Oh, a root and silence onto the Jimmy, and that is a dead Jimmy with that very killing reaction it. value. And Li Ming is a dragon! 
And looks like Sky 5 will be pushing into the mid fort with this dragon while the bottom siege camps go ahead and siege. The yeah, game is putting up a heck of a fight trying there. to make sure the damage gets spread out as much as they can. Lunar doing as much as she can. Hey, that's a uh, that's class cannon leaning. Yo. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh See my you later, Johanna. <laughs> Get out of here. Big old shove coming out in the Johanna. Oh, native boy is trying to get some damage out there, doing a little bit of CC, is able to walk away before any counter, counter engages can be going on too heavily there. Uh, Dragonite just able to secure the mid fort, not too much else is gained from this, oh, but as I say that Ascent goes out onto Lunar, but she jumps just over Ooh. the enemy team and that does let Barely her get away from there. Away there. And Bunker hugs. comes down for reasons? For reasons, for reasons. Hogs do come out, but everybody has already disengaged, and it looks like the game players will have another chance to get back into this game. Yeah, they, uh, this oh, Skyfire just wait, got wait. a little bit of value on that. Oh, Ural oh, does there. have her. Oh. oh. You can't press oh. buttons when you're silenced. Oh, yeah, I hate to see it. You hate to see it. That really end reaction. Once you, once you get that online, it's so powerful. Looks like Sky Five will be pushing into the top four here. The rest of the dead game players team is coming up to assist, but I don't know if they'll have time to get that. Lenara doing some fancy footwork to get herself back to safety, and that she do. Stun that onto Johanna. Johanna pops her unstoppable, is able to walk away. Anna healing from way over there. You can't kill me when I'm over here. So I took this all for <laughs> I'm behind many walls. Haha. -ha. Sky 5 will most likely be walking away with this free siege camp. This is a 5v4. Last couple shots coming up from Anna's uh, uh, move, but that is not enough to save the Johanna. No, not quite. And that camp will be going over to the team of Sky 5. Sky 5 is uh, <laughs> doing the same thing they did last time, having a lot of control over the map so far with regards to taking these uh, camps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been securing the uh, advantages they needed, uh, like holding onto the 16s and saying, you know what, we can take your siege camp with this. We can take your bruiser camp with this because if you try to fight us, we win. Yeah. And getting those early advantages is really uh, letting them snowball out of control here. Yeah, we do have level 16s finally coming out for the side of uh, dead games players. Mm -hmm. And claim vengeance for Which once again is a good chance to get back into this game to get some good team fights going and secure some kills. Yep. All all it takes is one team fight in their favor and they could swing things around. Mm -hmm. Top shrine under Yurel, control. <laughs> you roll get ready. She's like, got my hammer ready for that stupid bear. Oh, don't worry, she has fast feet hammer. Well, oh, Tracer looking at the Lenara. Lenara trying to get just to safety. Does Lenara have a spell shield? Oh, tackle just barely misses. Oh, but here come the hogs! Oh, here come the hogs! Oh, but this really heavy action lands on the Anna. Anna and she's dead. Li Ming gets some of those much wanted resets, able to get a little bit more damage out, looking to get some damage onto Johanna. Some damage onto Li Ming, onto Lenara. Lenara not able to get. Lenara able to get out of the way. But you're all did die way back there. And uh, looks like Sky Five will be able to take this Dragon Knight. Who's who's getting in it? We got Li Ming. Li Ming. All right, Li Ming's getting in there. Li Ming's hopping in the Dragon Knights. Dead game players needs oh, to put a it. solid defense here. I don't know. I feel uncomfortable having that graphic there. I feel what like graphic? it's wrong. It's wrong. Like who's in the Dragon Knight? Yeah. I mean, no, it's, it's, it's helpful. Great. It's helpful. It's right, it's right above the health bar. Perfect. True. Oh, Jimmy getting a little bit of stunned. Is able to walk away. Ooh. And we get. Looks like this Dragon Knight will just be trying to push down this bottom keep. The URL doing a whole bunch of stun, trying to keep everyone at bay here. Misha going down. Misha getting picked off there. Blaze stun lands on the Johanna. Johanna too much health points. And there goes Bunker for some peels armor, I guess. That's the oh, first and there's the hogs! Oh, a stun onto Stukov. 
or sleep on this Duke. I'm Duke. I don't have anything else to do. Oh, Yurel, can you get out of there? Yurel, no! Oh. No! Yurel! My baby girl! Uh, that is the, that Misha kill is the first kill for the side of Dead Game. <laughs> that is rough. That is rough. Looks like Sky Five is, is sticking around for the win here. Tackle is not hitting anybody. Damage over time coming on to the on to the Blaze. Blaze does have a good deal of healing from Stukov and some self healing from that fire that he has that heals him for some reason. Because lore. Oh, but I have Horus might snipe him. Well, can we get the last little bit of damage onto the blaze? No, I don't think so. No, I of Horus was cancelled, and it looks like Sky Five will be walking away safe and sound. Uh, I was gonna say your overlay graphic, my friend, is to me perfectly placed. Like maybe a little bit to the right, but but perfect. I don't know. I, I feel like I don't know. Like I'm I'm fine with it being there, but it could be better. Could be better. Could be better. Could, could be better. All right, twenties are online for Sky Five. We got total yep. recall on the tracer. We got Tal Rasha's elements on Li Ming Blaze going for burn notice. Stukov going for push comes to shove, and the upgrade to the boars. We got kill command for Rexar. Looks like Sky Five oh, is just I setting up to Jimmy. Is bad. Place. Oh my God, Jimmy! Jimmy, no! Oh, a tackle, and that is a dead Jimmy. Jimmy. Get knocked right out of the game here for the next 50 seconds. Oh, you hate to see it. Dead game players does need to make something happen here. It'll, it's way too long to wait for 20s. Yeah, they they really need to <laughs> kill somebody. Yep. Anybody, really. Sky 5 is invading on the bridge of death, giving them a little bit of a chance, but they've already pushed in here, and it will be tough to get them to back off here. Tracer is just. Being a pest in the back line, dodging everything. Yurel coming in, looking for a stun on the blaze. Hits the blaze, but life bars are so low. Oh, but Yurel is able to heal fully with that uh, hardened defender. Oh my god. Yeah. That's more of a testament to how much damage the side of uh, Sky 5 is doing. Oh, for sure. Three levels up, landing all but damage and full health. Yurel immediately. Yeah, and that Yurel, it only heals her for half the damage she received, so twice that speed of damage she was receiving. Oh yeah, that would have killed her like two or three times over if she was, if she had a regular health bar. Yeah. Oh, we can see the Li Ming hitting her with that uh, glass cannon. Oh my god, Yurel, no! No, Yurel! Trying oh, to die for god. the internet but not able to pull it off. And here comes the rooting hogs. Here come the hogs. Jimmy gets bonked. Oh no. And is able to walk away from it. Oh, a stun. Oh, a stun hits the Jimmy. Jimmy is down. I think we might be looking at the end of the game here, my we friend. We very well could be. That is two deaths for the side of the game players. It'll be tough to fence to defend against this, but the Dragonite is going straight for the throat. Oh, cool. I didn't know you could do that. I've never, I've never seen that before. It's cool as hell, but she dies, which is unfortunate. Ooh. Yeah, and this is, uh, this, this is looking like the end of the game. Yeah, almost certainly the end of the game. Bay is the only one left. Johanna, you can do... Okay, see you later, Johanna. <laughs> Bye, Johanna. Goodbye. Also, we didn't comment on the fact that Stukov picked push instead of the swipe. Push can be handy. Push can come in handy. When push comes to that's shove. Some... That's some... Hey, good night, everyone. <laughs> that's some cheese, my friend. That's some nice cheese. That's some nice brie. Good debris. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the Li Ming siege. Oh, jeez. Let's see if we can get some boys in here for a post-game interview. Bark, bark, bark. All right, who's who's my captain? Oh, captain, my captain. Who is my captain? Who am I talking to? Going over to the captain's list. Bah. Looking for Div A East. Bah. Looking at Sky Five. We got Thurl. Whisper. Interview. Bam. Okay. But yeah, Tracer rocking it with that everything. <laughs> yeah, Tracer real good that that game. Rex are again the uh, Sky Five offlaner dominating the XP. Mm-hmm. On the other side, Rainer doing his very best to keep alright, we got Furl in for an interview. Lobby two? Lobby two. Why don't you ah. I've defeated you. I've been defeated. You got me, Devin. 
You got me. We got hello. two people coming. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Feeling pretty good. Good start to the season. So yeah, yeah very nice. high. All right, so let's let's go over these games pretty quickly here. So you guys, we went to Infernal Shrines for game one, and you guys did pick that map. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. we kind of wanted a clean slate as they didn't really have a lot of games on them when we were searching them. So we wanted to kind of bring them to a more neutral map to kind of see what. What was up? Mm -hmm. And you guys went for a pretty heavy pick comp with a Varian, Sleep, uh, Tychus, all that jazz. Yeah, we actually uh, weren't actually planning on picking the Varian, but we kind of realized halfway through the draft that they probably really wanted the Varian. And so we picked it kind of half for that reason, half for it worked with the team. Mm -hmm. And I think the Arthas picks seemed a little uh, surprised. I think they were really expecting the Varian for that comp. Mm-hmm. True enough. Uh, I I was thinking that they took it because the, it was the portrait synergy because all their portraits were of Arthas. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think Arthas is a little bit weak as a tank unless he's kind of off lane bruiser, especially with Syndra Ghost. So it's very hard. As someone who likes to play Arthas, it's very hard to play Arthas these days. I uh, do not disagree. <laughs> um, yeah, but you guys did very solid in that game. You got a ton of extremely solid ganks, and Savannah was just. So just a little bit out of position all the time. Guys are able to capitalize on that very well. Uh, yeah, I think on. yeah, I think that was partially because I think not to harp on Arthas too much, but he doesn't have any hard CC to kind of save from that like stun combo that we had going down or the taunt combo. And so, you know, anytime any of that backline was a foot fo too forward, they were pretty much dead because there wasn't a lot of peels coming out uh, just based on Arthas's kit. So I think that's that's why you know sometimes the uh, backline got as, as exposed as they did. Yep, I think that's a fair assessment. Uh, Devin, you got anything else for game one? Uh, yeah. So I was uh, considering, uh, based on what you just said about not uh, picking up the or picking up the variant as more of a counter pick than uh, than something to add to your build. Uh, were you guys planning on doing that? such aggressive ganking uh whenever possible like was that the plan for the whole game or was that more just you know an opportunity came up and then it kept coming up over and over and that's where you kind of shifted your focus to uh there was definitely a lot of convenience in there for sure but like i think with the initial tank choice i forget who it was but we were also planning to be probably a little more on the aggressive side but like once we got those early kills in that level lead like we just you know you push step on their throats as our uh, teammate likes to say <laughs> Very aggressive. Yeah, no, that was that was a that was a great great purpose match. Is it for me, Mark? All right. So taking us to game two, you once again took us to uh, uh, Dragonshire. Is there a particular reason you guys picked that map? Uh, yeah, we we kind of like um because I do play the Rexa, We kind of like going there when we're picking the map because it gives us the last pick and allows me to counter pick off lane. Um. And that kind of leaves a lot of options open for, you know, if I can, I, I did call my shot. I was like, I guarantee I can win top of Rexar. Um, and, you know, I feel pretty confident being able to second pick. I think anyone, any soul lane in A is at the skill level where they can win if they get the last pick. Uh, and with that, with that top held for the entire early game, it really puts the... Uh, pressure on the other team to do something bottom or do something mid and win that four man uh, because the top is always capped and that allows the, our four man to rotate, get camps and get um, value elsewhere on the map and not have to just stay bottom and worry about capping that bottom shrine. So I think that was our strategy going in and I think that worked out pretty well for us. I think it for sure did. Yeah, we, we saw the um, most, of the, most of the beginning of the fight or the game it was pretty a little bit back and forth but the top lane was very consistently get, getting held on to um was there anything from their comp you guys were a little bit worried about maybe the lunara damage maybe just getting focused down by their dps's uh as the tank i was a little worried about the double aa but like blaze has a lot of get out of jail free cards with his bunker 
and like with the Tracer and Ming and also Misha, of course, like there's a lot of pressure being kind of spread around. So I don't think there's anything too scared of. The sleep definitely like caused some problems a few times too, though. Yeah, fair enough. All right, Devin, you got anything else for game two? Uh, really, only one thing uh, on the Stukov. The level ten kind of surprised me a bit, just because usually we see the big swipe coming out rather than the uh, massive shove. But uh, was there any particular reason to pick that up, or? Uh, well, you'd have to ask our healer, who's not in this chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe they didn't have a big combo. They were more of a sustain comp. So the opportunity of massive shove to secure a kill, get a pick, or like just yeah. separate someone from the fight, like Joe. Maybe yeah, that's also, the It was also used a lot of the time, mostly on Lunara, I think, if I recall. Just because, like, if Lunara gets to the backline, there's a lot of problems with getting her off uh, with this comp. Because, like, you know, the Ming's not doing it. If the Tracer is, like, attacking the Ana, she's not going to mm -hmm. help with it. So just that one massive shove to, like, say goodbye so long <laughs> it's uh, really useful okay yeah that's uh that's about it for me mark all right well i think that's about it for us if you guys have any shout outs you want to make uh, go run ahead uh sure i'll go i'll go ahead shout out to our team uh we had the worst practice night of all practice nights last night i think we lost six in a row so we were coming into this game a little angsty so to speak and i those wins i think we set our mood a little bit so shout out to the team for fighting through last night uh shout out to the casters thank you guys for casting uh what makes the ngs community so great uh, and thanks for all the our friends and family for putting up with us playing long hours into the night practicing and playing matches so that's yeah. that's that i want to just throw a uh shout out to crafty devil our number one fanboy in the chat uh you're appreciated I don't know who you are, but thanks for supporting us. Hell yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for playing. Those are some fun matches, and good luck with the rest of the season. All right. Thanks yeah, for casting thank it. No Hope problem. To talk soon. See ya. No problem. Good luck. There we go. What a couple of games. In Deedy Do. Definitely find me someone to host. Oh, God. Unless find somebody me in the raid. And those points to direct the raid, you have to beat me to it. You gotta beat Devin. It ain't easy to do. He's fast. He's fast. He's faster than you'd think. I'm He's light faster on his than feet. a. I'm faster than a speeding bullet. Yeah. Probably. Step. Okay. Where? Where did? I want. How many viewers? No, these are way too many viewers. These are like 90 viewers? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Start by low to high. Show me low to high. This is all that it is? People are streaming? This is it? It's like... Yo, we have to, there has to be some... Not many people streaming. There has to be some... I don't know why. Hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 hold let's, hop onto the, let's hop onto the Discord. Let's see if we can find somebody who's doing some casting. The time currently is 8.06 p.m. Mountain Time. Games that are starting is a Nexus game between Bronze 6 and Vendetta, which is not getting casted. Um, that one started at 7. Yeah, not him. Yeah, nothing new. I guess. All right. Find me uh, someone else. Uh, yeah, I can. Trying to find. Looking for a good one. Let's find a good one. Let's see. Let's see. Ich weiß, ihr Wut ist in ich hören. What's this guy something? Some I, I don't know. He's saying I something. You want? This is it something? It not here. I don't know what. I don't speak German well enough. Yeah. Uh, what is Doki vibes? What? You want some Doki vibes? I, I don't know what that is, Devin. Okay, well, we're going to Doki Vibes. Maybe Minecraft later? Oh, I see us. Hello. Uh, oh, no, there's an NGS Rejects scrim. How does that sound? Let's do it. Okay, it is Tiger, JKGG, capital JKGG, capital T. Uh, Tiger, JKGG. Bam. Get the boys over there. 
you did it. Go give a shout out. Give them two scoops of ice cream over there. <laughs> give give them the ice cream. But Go yeah, and th- dab on them over there. Dab, dab, dab. But yeah, thank you everyone for coming out. Thank you to the followers. Mikin2123, CorrosiveX, InstaFox. Oh, dude, that was from two days ago. Yeah, thank you guys for following. Y'all are very cool people. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Yeah, for sure. And uh, we'll catch you next time.